Welcome! In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and today I will show you how you can boot this device into safe mode. So to get started you want to pull down your notification panel, expand it and you will see your power button, click on it and this will bring up the power off and reset options. Now you want to hold power off which in turn changes into safe mode as you can see. It gives you a quick message at the bottom, so tap again to restart your tablet in safe mode. Downloaded apps will be temporarily disabled to help you troubleshoot your tablet. Tap on it. And what that meant is, in this mode, basically any app that you have downloaded yourself cannot run uh, if that app or whatever app was causing you problems uh, with your device, so maybe it was malfunctioning, you couldn't remove the app or whatever the case might have been. Uh, this app can no longer do anything uh, in safe mode. It is completely terminated, so if you couldn't, for instance, get rid of it for some obscene reason, uh, you shouldn't have that problem right now because the app cannot be like stopping you from doing this. It cannot run, so yeah. Now, additionally, uh, you will see there should be a couple apps that won't be able to run in this mode by default. So number one, widgets are disabled, which you can kind of see right now. They're just looking kind of bland. And let's see if we have anything else. We have Galaxy Picks. So we have uh, Clip Studio and uh, Note Shelf. Those apps won't be able to run. I don't even know if they are downloaded or not, but they're grayed out so they cannot run. If you try to click on it, as you can see, it gives you downloaded apps disabled in safe mode. And we also have right here uh, Tips, which is disabled. And if there is a Facebook, I'm pretty sure it should be disabled as well, but I don't see it. So anything that is grayed out like this, like you can see right here, cannot start in safe mode. So that is something to note. Once you're done with this mode, to leave it, all you will need to do is again pull down your notifications, tap on the power button, and this time around, simply tap on restart. The device will reboot and go back to normal mode. And that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.